That's all I like it, boy. Prayed to Las Vegas. What, uh, what made you decide to come to Texas? Oh, uh, well, <coughs> you know, to, to tell you the truth, I started out here in Texas. I, I think the the, the, uh, the uh, first shows that I worked was down here, man, around Houston. And Remember what location you worked here in Texas? Well, I worked uh, I worked what Houston. I worked uh, Corpus Christi. I, I have a little town here, Longview, man. You you name it, I've been there. You know, really, I've been all over Texas. What do you think of Texas? <laughs> I like it. I like it. Elvis, can you really give us? Uh, uh, I understand with all the big. Uh, engagements like Las Vegas, etc. The reason why you selected the livestock show and rodeo this year? Well, uh, the, uh, they asked me to do it, and I was anxious to do some live appearances. You know, I haven't, it's been a long time since I've been on stage in front of anybody live. And uh, I was anxious to do some live appearances, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to get in front of the people. Have you ever yeah. seen the inside of the dome before? Never have. It scares them. <laughs> It's a big place, man, you know. You've been known in the past as a king of rock and roll. Do you think your style has changed now from uh, the days that you were king, or do you consider that still your style? Uh, well, I think the overall thing has improved. Uh, the overall sound's improved, I mean. But I think it, uh, it's according to the songs, you know, it's just according to the songs. Is your stage pre uh, presentation still the same way it was, or have you improved on that? I, well, I just do whatever I feel on stage, you know. I always did that. Are you going to keep that just down? I hope to. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'd like to make better films than that kind of made before. Well, better than the ones I made before. You know. I mean, uh, <coughs> Excuse me, I can't Roman. take this fresh air, man. I'm used to the back, the garbage can at the uh, International Hotel, man. <laughs> if I can't smell some garbage, I don't feel at home, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> Do you have any films uh, in the working right now or any plans? No, there's nothing in, as far as I know of, is it, Colonel? Anything in the workings? I can't commit myself. An 8 millimeter <laughs> Walt Disney special we're doing next year, I think. I don't know. <laughs> we're shooting it, it now. Right? There's nothing as far as I know. No. When you look at it, opportunity to go and try to fill up the Astrodome. Well, it, it'll be the type of stuff that I do. It's a <clears> mixture <throat> of things, you know. It's it's uh, a little rock and a little, little country western flavor. Essentially the same show you do at the International Hotel? Yeah, it's the same type of thing. A lot of different type of songs. So I, I just hope I can put on a good show, man. What happened to the Jordan Airs? I can't get them out of Nashville, man. They, they got stuck in Nashville and... Uh, <laughs> You know, they make so much money and they, they do they, they do so well in Nashville, you, you can't get them out of there. You know. Do you have any thoughts about the rising interest in country music? I think it's fantastic. You see, country music was always a part of, uh, of the influence on my, on my type of music anyway. It's a combination of, of uh, country music and gospel and rhythm and blues all combined is what it really, really was. As a child, I was influenced by all of that. Do you consider yourself basically a country music singer? Uh, I would hate to say strictly country because of the fact that uh, I liked all different types of music when I was a child. You know, of course, the Grand Ole Opry was the first thing I ever heard, probably. But I liked blues and I liked uh, the, the uh, gospel music, <clears throat> gospel quartets and all that. Do you ever pull out any of those old records from the Sun label and listen to them at all? <laughs> <laughs> they sound funny, boy. <laughs> they got a lot of echo on them, man, I'll tell you. Uh, <coughs> but that's what I mean. I, I think the overall sound has improved today, you know. In other words, you, you, are, you are available to the public only in films. Yeah. For a long period of time. And well, I think the most important thing is the, uh, the, the, the inspiration that I got from a live audience. I was missing that. I didn't... Was it rough? It was always tough, but I, I enjoyed it. I, I just, yeah, I enjoyed it. Like I, I, I know I'm going to enjoy it here because it's just, it's, just, it's live audience and it makes a world of difference. Let me ask you one thing. What's your father up to? He's right here somewhere. Ask him. I don't know. Daddy, what are you up to? Miss <laughs> Presley. 
Elvis, uh, there's evidence of Sergeant. Uh, Elvis's father, Mr. Vernon Presley. Could he come right in and sit down? <laughs> Lord, it don't sign nothing unless I check. <laughs> <laughs> I can't write. I never it. It's just fresh air, man. Is <sighs> Elvis, there's quite an evidence of sartorial splendor. Uh, does this indicate that the. Uh, well, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the attire is not one uh, that we're familiar with seeing. It's a. It was taken from a karate suit, just a regular karate type outfit. Are they coming to get me? Is that it? <laughs> I mean, does this indicate that uh, with your type dress and everything now that you're changing a little bit of style, perhaps uh, in deference to what you did a few years ago? I, I don't. I don't know. I. I, I... I think that you that you'd have to see the show. You know, it's difficult to tell. I. I, I, I don't feel any different. You know. Uh, I don't think the dress has that much to do with it. I, I got the idea from a karate suit because I studied karate for a long time, and uh, I had to make up a couple of suits like it. What do you do for relaxation? You said you studied karate. karate. <laughs> <laughs> if you can relax doing this, I don't know. No, I I, uh, I, I read a lot and uh, go horseback riding and stuff like that. Do you still live principally in uh... Memphis? <laughs> About half the time. Yeah, half the time. Yeah. Half the time in L.A. In the show you have planned for the Dome, you plan any of the old, old songs, some of the first ones? I, I'd like to, you know. Any special ones? Try to, a couple of them. Just see if they work. We're in like it, out. Thank you, thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, let, me, let me pin this only. This is your official badge. And we got another one. Didn't want to put your name on the night that people didn't know who you were, but we were afraid they'd be trying to take it off eight plus two when they were. We'll <laughs> pin that on you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, it's a real pleasure to have you down here with your Thank son. You, sir. Thank you. We think we're going to set all kinds of records down here. I hope so. I, I hope I can give them a good show. That's the most important thing. You will. You, no question you about will. that. Sure will. <laughs> if I can give them a good show, then I feel like I've done something. Man. You What's will. the biggest live that. crowd you've ever performed for? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was uh, in Vancouver, Canada, wasn't it, Colonel? Cotton Bowl. In the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. Uh, it was about, uh, I don't know, 25,000, I guess, something like that. Is Mr. Gracie here? Yeah. Mr. Gracie. Yeah. 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 Mr. Gracie. Yeah. 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 It's one of the men that started our livestock show. Gentlemen, this is Mr. Chris Caramanis. Well, I, I think so. If it's the right type of, of song, I think so. If it's, if it's the right type of material. You made a couple of songs. But I, I, yes, I have. I did like in the, in the ghetto and uh, uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't like to do all that type of stuff, you know. Well, right. I, in, in, in other words, I wouldn't like for everything to be a message because I think that. There's still entertainment to be, you know, uh, considered.